So I am using the OnePlus Nord from past 20 days. Coming to the experience of OnePlus Nord, it's pretty good because uh, in terms of day-to-day -day task, it doesn't, you know, lag. And I am coming from Moto G5 Plus, so you can understand. I hope you have watched my unboxing video of the pop-up box. If you haven't watched, just click on the cards and watch it. So from that time till now, it's pretty good experience. They have released two updates also, and they claim that they have optimized cameras and all. So I'm a enthusiast, not an expert. So I like the cameras. And uh, the only thing which I feel uh, OnePlus have to work a lot is the battery. Now this is not a review video so I cannot go in depth uh, because uh, you know there are few issues in terms of performance also like uh, when you are in Chrome you face few issues and all so I don't want to talk about that especially the tint issue and all so that uh, I feel like a lot of people have already made the videos and a lot of people got the clarity of what is what uh, so but this video is all about connecting an external microphone to the OnePlus Nord uh, because uh, when I went online I went to the community of uh, OnePlus and um, I even searched on YouTube saw XDA articles everything uh, none of them were that much helpful so the default camera of oneplus doesn't support an external mic even though if you buy the adopter but uh, you know i like experimenting so i so i got this adopter from the oneplus uh, official website now the mrp says that 390 bucks but uh, if you're gonna use the link in description obviously you're gonna get it for cheap like 200 bucks you will get off so it's a good deal don't buy one from amazon and all because we are not sure whether they will work or not at least i haven't tested so this thing we need uh, so inside i will just show you inside you get this thing that's it nothing much so this have a headphone jack here and uh, this is obviously the type c thing so this thing will connect on our nod and first thing i will show you on the stock camera app so see uh, oneplus device does support an external mic input and uh, that you can see when you are using some other camera apps like open camera and all sometime it works sometime it doesn't uh, but my problem was uh, that it hurts the camera quality so open camera and all are great for the pro features but they are not as good as the primary uh, default camera app so what i thought is okay what i can do uh, apart from this so i went on youtube i searched it so one guy i found a really interesting video i will put his video also in description you can go and watch it so what trick he did is he opened whatsapp he made a call and then he plugged using this thing uh, his external mic same boya the one which i am using and surprisingly it worked so what happened was uh, basically the device is thinking that it's still in call stage and it's considering the mic as a earphone mic and uh, that's how he was able to connect the external mic to the default app now that is a quite a process you can go and watch a, uh, watch his video so after watching that i was like i shall automate this and i was behind people i was at, uh, asking app developers my colleagues etc like how can i do this how can i do this but again that is something hectic process we can do that if some developer wants to help please comment and uh, we can just uh, collaborate and do it so the reason i didn't like the open camera and other applications was that it doesn't give me that kind of quality so I was first behind the quality like how can I improve this quality and as you all know that better than default camera is Google camera because I have used that in my Motorola also and it gives immense clarity compared to the default app the algorithm or uh, the image processing is such great thing you know uh, I, I don't know how Google is able to do it so it's the same hardware same thing but the software that Google made is unbelievable so I was I am already a fan of Google and uh, when I saw the clarity of the Google camera app I was it, it, I just felt like wow because the default app was uh, over exposing the things and there were few issues with that but when i switched to gcam i was like the camera system is great it's just that how we can use it and uh, the software must be good so obviously a thumbs up to the gcam 
so i immediately went on youtube did a quick search and uh, you know i was too much enthusiastic like i will be able to use the cam on oneplus nord or not so i went uh, and quickly i searched it and the video which i used i will give the link in description this guy explains very nicely how you can install it he gave a proper modded version for the nord and uh, i just quickly installed the modded version of gcam and i was not expecting this that i will be able to connect an external mic it was just like i i can improve the quality i can improve the quality because the onboard mic is good so i will uh, you know stop using this boya mic i will use the onboard mic and make videos nothing can stop making me videos <laughs> Now this footage is getting recorded through my mom's phone so uh, let me just uh, quickly unplug the microphone and show you uh, that what kind of quality you will see on this particular device vivo and then i will switch to my phone which is nord and uh, then we will see without microphone how the quality is and then i will switch to the gcam connect the external mic and i will show you how insane the quality increases and how you can use it for making videos so i just unplugged the microphone and uh, i think you might be hearing some external noises you will uh, be getting some weird sound i believe uh, not sure because i cannot hear uh, so uh, tell me how you feel so this is getting recorded on the vivo my mom phone and let me just quickly switch to the nord now this footage which you are looking at is from the nord and i am pretty sure the camera quality is great i am sure that my quality also got improved you might be able to hear external noises i am pretty sure because the microphone is not plugged in and uh, this is what my mom's phone is uh, it's it's have a decent camera so uh, and uh, yeah obviously uh, this adopter i have here so what i will do is now i, I will show you that uh, if i connect this to the default uh, uh, camera app you will see that still the camera is going to capture the voice from the onboard microphone not from the external mic so let me quickly switch it a few minutes later so i just connected the external mic with the adopter uh, to this phone and uh, Uh, I am pretty sure it's not the external mic because I will show you how to check an external mic whether it's working or not. I'll just tap on it, and uh, if you are hearing any uh, you know voice which is like tapping voice, uh, that means this mic is working. But uh, since it's capturing the voice through the default onboard camera, it's impossible for recognizing the tap. Uh, so that means this camera app doesn't support an external mic. Now let me quickly switch to the Gcam, remove the adapter, and show you is there any mic difference, and then we'll connect the adapter and see what happens. Now this video is coming from Gcam, and you can already see the quality difference in terms of video. Like I am impressed uh, from this. Uh, I am not sure whether you will be able to notice the difference after post processing, but in the viewfinder when I am looking like on the screen. it looks amazing like uh, the colors and all they are true to the original not over saturated and all and not only that uh, you can see i have not connected yet my microphone and uh, that's the reason there is no option uh, on the gcam which says that can i switch to external mic or not now let me just plug this and show you what the options will come now i have connected the external microphone and this video is coming from gcam and uh, i will just show you if external mic is working or not let me just tap on it and i am pretty sure you might be hearing that tap voice right so that is what uh, it is that's the magic so when you are on gcam it is going to show basically that swipe to switch to the external mic and just you uh, switch on the setting and you are good to go you don't have to worry about the quality uh the downside of gcam is obviously that you don't get that multi lenses option so currently i will not be able to use the wide angle camera and when i am on the back camera also i will not be able to use the other three lenses uh but Yeah, that sacrifice we have to make. So I hope you like the video. Even this footage is currently getting recorded through the external mic and OnePlus Nord on GCam. Uh, so obviously you don't get uh, the choice to you know use the other lenses, and uh, that's a downside. But see, I will say that uh, 
coming to the wide angle and uh, the macro camera or other cameras on the back i will just shoot with them few b rolls i don't see shooting myself with those camera lenses because the quality is not that great in uh, and the same thing is for the front camera so the wide angle camera is great in front but again uh, it's okay because i don't have to capture much because i'm at home for now uh, so this is a good setup and again let me just show you let me just tap so it works really great so i hope you like the video and i hope this helps you for creating your video so wish you best of luck if you are thinking of buying nord or anything use my uh, oneplus uh, referral link so i will also get some coupon or something and you will get uh, something of like 200 bucks if you are buying some accessory and uh, 500 bucks or something if you are buying a phone with accessories so just use that link uh, and you will get the coupon you can just uh, use it on any order i i think you can even use it on this particular 3.5 mm 2 type c thing uh, so that's it for today guys see you in the next video